because uh, if you walk around a lot, then you'll be thinking about me the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> I want you to think about me sometime, but not all the time. Not, not every time. step, okay? okay. Hi, Miss Jackie. Hi. How you doing? Hi, how are you? She is a first-time patient, but she is nice enough to agree to film this area here. This is a very interesting, uh, very thick protruding callus. So we're going to clean this out and see uh, what's underneath uh, this area. Okay. Just let, let me know if you feel anything, okay? You feel a little bit of tugging, okay? Because it's mm -hmm. kind of thick. I'm going to... Yeah. Try to do a little bit at a time. So on the x-ray, it showed this toe was up, this fourth toe was up, pushed this bones down here, and then that's what created the extra pressure. And that's what created this uh, thick callus here. I want to see underneath as to what's underneath, like if there's a, what we call an IPK or intractable plantar keratosis or we, people call it corn if they want to, but deep-seated uh, corn could be underneath this area. So we very carefully cleaning this out and then see if we can, if there's a corn there, then we need to cauterize it using strong acid to kill the root. But let's see. Yeah, we may have to kill the root, but let's see how what it looks like underneath, okay? okay. Let me know if you feel any pain there. Yeah. yeah, you shouldn't. It's just a little bit of tugging. Mm -hmm. I'm cutting layer by layer here. So you've had rheumatoid arthritis for a long time, right? Mm -hmm. Since I was like 24 or 5. Oh, is that right? Oh. Yeah. You've had it for a few years? A few years. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. You're looking really good for your age, so doesn't seem that long ago. But that's been quite debilitating for you, huh? Yeah, With all the bones and your hands and... Yeah, and had a knee replacement, a right hip replacement. Oh, is that right? Oh, wow. Yeah. Recently? No, the hip replacement was in 2000. My knee replacement was in 2005 or six. Oh, wow. This whole thing came out now. Right here. I'll show you. If this whole thing just came out. It's this big. Put it in my palm of my hand right there. The whole thing came out. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. like, a, like a rock. It's like, yeah, that's yeah. what it feels like. When yeah. I'm exactly, yeah. It feels like that. But now I'm going to go a little deeper and see if, um, if there is a corn inside or deep seated like a little rock underneath it so we'll see so I'm getting down a little bit deeper that must have been pretty painful to walk on this little oh, yeah. rock yeah and you've had that for several months you said mm -hmm. right? Wow. before then you didn't have anything you didn't have any like callus I, that's what I thought that was a, a, a catalyst. Right. Um, but it got like. I had a small, a small sore, but it's like. It, it started growing. Yeah. No. Yeah. You know. It got pretty big. And then there's a little. I think there's a little corn inside. So it's much deeper. So we're going to have to burn it and kill the root so that the, this thing won't grow back. Mm -hmm. The problem is. Also, the fact that your bone is kind of, the toe is sitting under, uh, on top of this uh, bone here. Mm -hmm. So that bone may have to be shaved too, if uh, nothing works. But for now, I think we can just work on the skin and see if we can make it better. If it does, that's all we do. Okay. But we may need to do more if um, what we're doing on the skin is not working. So you wear special shoes for your no. rheumatoid or? No. No? Okay. So I'm going to recommend some shoes, okay? Okay. Um, to take pressure off, and then you may want to get some insoles to take pressure off the ball of the foot, which is where the rheumatoid arthritis uh, become swollen and painful. Yeah. Those joints, just like, your, just like your hands or your knuckles. That's where it affects the area. 
and that the pressure needs to be off that area and put it into the arch. <clears throat> and that helps quite a bit to be able to walk better. Okay. okay so we'll talk. It does bother my hips because um, I walk. Kind of crooked, huh? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, now you can see there's a deep crater there with a little bit of corn there. You see the, I'll show you. See this round thing? That's the corn that's deep inside that needs to be burnt, okay? Uh, the burning takes, it doesn't hurt when I do it, but you need to stay off the next few days. If you're busy, then we should schedule it. Because uh, if you walk around a lot, then you'll be thinking about me the whole time. <laughs> I want you to think about me sometime, but not all the time. No, not every okay. step, okay? okay? Yeah. Go ahead and take a look at the, uh, go ahead and if you want to take uh, a look. You can see this round so-called, we call them IPK, or people call it corn. It's a deep-seated uh, corn in the hair that's going to make it grow again, so we're going to have to probably burn it. So. There you have it. Thank you for allowing us to film you today. Thank you.